Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. I apologize for lack of videos lately. Uh, there have some some setbacks, we'll call it. Uh, I really want to build a lot of things like this in this game, and you know, it's kind of a bit of a pain in the ass having to do the resourcing to build on the scale that I do, and some of the, some of the products I build aren't exactly cheap. Uh, another one has been the fact that, you know, it, traveling, especially in an atmosphere, like just to get back up there, no matter what I do, it's going to take me eight minutes to get up to the station, or at least out of the gravity to where I can use the jump drive. And that was what this was supposed to be all about. And unfortunately, this hasn't worked. I do have to do some testing. Uh, there might be a surprise live stream this Sunday. We may find out. I not guaranteeing anything, it all depends on how I feel, but we'll see how it goes, but uh, yeah, there's that, and then there's always the, the suit power issue, and that's been making things kind of funny, I have no idea what that hiccup was, don't worry about that, so I had to make a decision, and to keep things going, and you know, just uh, really keep that build going on, I had to make a decision, and that decision is... To switch the series over to, to creative mode and there is like i said there's many reasons for that one of them just happens to be uh resources uh, i was actually planning on doing a build for the next video which never ever got done uh unfortunately i was gonna need some platinum and i was already down at the elevator and i have to go all over the station to get the supplies and get them up constructed and brought all the way back down to where I was actually going to do the project and then at the same time too there's the amount of time it takes to weld everything together you're basically touching every block twice and as some of you know there are some big pro project projects I do have planned see this is what happens you don't record for what has it been about a month now since I've had a video up but as you know uh, there are some big project projects I didn't want to do one of them just happens to be recreating I'm hoping a life a life size scale. Sorry, life yeah, life size scale replica of Red Dwarf, which is a mining ship for the Jupiter Mining Corporation in a British TV series. Uh, it's a show I love, and that's always something I wanted to build was Red Dwarf, just because it's it's by far one of, one of the biggest ships in sci-fi history. I'm not saying it is the biggest, but it's definitely the biggest. It's something like. 10 kilometers long or something crazy like that and then there have been a few requests for to build Atlantis I would love to build Atlantis I'd love to build a giant flying city but doing that in a creative aspect even if I were to increase my inventory to 40 million liters the amount of time it takes to weld 40,000 blocks well we already know what happened with how long that takes but yeah, so that, that's that been it, and at the same time, too, the suit power, so I don't have to worry about having to recharge all the time, I don't have to worry about oxygen, or jetpack fuel, or anything like that. And, at the same time, it gives me the ability to teleport any, anywhere I want. So, if I want to come to the moon, I can build on the moon. And, if I want to come over to Mars, I can certainly do that. All it takes is a few seconds. And, so that's been my decision. So go into creative. If you support my decision, please don't, don't forget to leave a like on this video. And if you happen to have any social media, you'd be willing to share this on. As they say, word of mouth is the best form of advertising. But anyways, I do have a great project planned up for the next video. Until then, I thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And yes, I will see you in the next one. Later.